Let's get into it. First off, <laughs> let's talk about how confident were you walking to that final tribal council? What did you think was going to happen? I was so scared. I was really like confident, confidence wise. I, I, wa- oh, I don't want to say that I wasn't confident. I was confident. I kept telling myself like, I can do this. I can do this. It was a more like I needed to convince myself that I could do it. And that I believed in myself. I knew I could do it, but I feel like I was at a point where I was just so mentally drained that I wasn't as confident as I wanted to be. And that's my honest answer. I wasn't as confident as I wanted to be like going into the merge. I was like, and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to, and when, when I got to, to final travel, I did not have that same energy. I did not ha- like mentally. I just was not all there. You think that's just the game and not being nourished and just the mental and emotional stress of the the whole situation. I think that the game just took a toll on me. Like yeah. it took a to- it took a toll. And here's the deal: I don't want to like make excuses. Like, oh yep, um, I, I and mean, I don't want to be like I should have done more and I could have done more and yeah, like probably, but. I just feel like mentally I did not have the fight that I wanted to have anymore. I did not have all that fight. And it's heartbreaking. I hate it. I hate that. I felt like at that point where at that point, I felt like it just almost like I wasn't good enough. Like uh, it was just really hard. It was really hard. Do you feel good enough now? Like in the sense of just like uh, the whole experience, like let's just look at the totality of it. The reaction you've gotten from people that have watched your game and your personality. And, you know, I can't tell you just the amount of like texts I'm getting yeah. from people I know that just say, Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this person. If she doesn't win this season, I'm going to be crushed. Yeah. What's like, it been like, like taking that all in? <laughs> it's, I'm just really grateful. And I told myself that like, even if I go into this and I am the Debbie or I am like the 100% Nora or the Philip or the, no, you know, like, you know that, like, I love them. It's no disrespect, but if I am just some one dimensional person on the show, like I still wouldn't have regretted it because I got to be myself. So I don't have any regrets and it feels good to hear from people who are like, I feel so hurt by you. I can relate to you. And like, I, I'm not going to lie. I even told Jeff, like above all else, like, I just want to be myself and I want to like prove like that I can play this game and be myself. And I want to show people because I'm like watching, I could not relate to a lot of people. So it was like, it just so meaningful to me to be able to do that. And no, go on to the game and you play the game. I never look at this as a game. I don't, I always say like, this isn't football. No offense. Like it's not to me. So it's like, it's more than that. Like it is so human. There's so many emotions involved. Like it will never be a, just a game to me. So being able to be myself and reach people, like I'm, it's so overwhelming. And I want to, like, I, I'm so grateful. And I get this sense of like, it's just so much gratitude. And I love like the messages that I get. And I feel so guilty because I can't write any of everybody back. And I just want to talk to everybody and hug everybody. And like, because like, I'm no different than them. I'm like, I'm a fan who applied and you know what I'm saying? So being able to to reach people, that is what I wanted. That was my like first and foremost thing. I wanted to reach people. And I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but being able to like, and I, I'm not reading crap online and all that. Like I'll get stuff snuck into my head sometimes, but it's like to have like the response that I've gotten, like when I totally, I went into, into this with no expectations and totally expected to just people be like, shut her up. And it, it's been great. It's been great. Like I can't. It's all, yeah. What's for the experience of watching yourself? Because people, always, everyone that goes on the show says they want to be themselves, but then, you know, it's hard to watch yourself. It's hard to watch yourself in, in certain moments that you're like, why did I say that? Why did I do that? Why am I acting this way? What was that experience like for you? I loved it. Like, even when I was picking my nose, even when I had like jam burp in my face, even when I was like, and I didn't know, like me personally, I don't know that I don't notice that I make all these faces or I don't notice like these weird ticks about me or like, I don't notice it. You know, like I'm not on TV every day. How would I know? So seeing it and watching myself, I I was terrified. There were times where I'm like, I am watching alone in the closet. I'm scared, but it has been, it's been good. Like I'm so proud of myself and just, 
it, it feels good. I, I was terrified, but just seeing these moments where um, I think like, uh, like a lot of people might be embarrassed. Like, I'm just like, Oh my God, I love that. I did that. I love that. I said that I love that. I shared that I, because it's real. And I think like when you're out there, it's like, yes, a lot of people will be like, like you want to show like a version of yourself. And also you're playing a game where like, you don't want to, you, you don't, you want to like put like the best version of yourself out there and all that. Like I never even thought of that. I was like, I'm here. I, I was, you know, listen, no disrespect to Jam Jam because he played an incredible game and is a great winner. And 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 Heidi was a boss down the stretch. But I, I was absolutely shocked that you didn't get any votes. Were you surprised? And are there, were there any votes that you thought you might get that you didn't get? Okay. And I'm really proud of both of them, you know, and I'm trying not to like, yeah, it wasn't vote for me. And then like really at the end of the day, it's like, okay, even if I would have gotten one vote, like, okay, Carolyn, come on. But yeah it hurt and i'm like i thought i did i thought that brandy me too i thought brandy might vote for me i thought carson might vote for me um but to be honest like those were the only two that i thought would vote for me i knew like danny he's not voting for someone like me brandon is not going to vote for me they're not like my value in this game was like or they valued strength like you know, like you haven't proven yourself like no then i sure as hell i'm not going to prove myself at the final tribal like physical strength like i didn't have that i was not good at challenges and here's the deal like this is like season 44 i didn't think people cared like this you know what i mean about challenges but i was on a season with these dudes who like that like draw up strength like so what yeah i didn't think i'd get their votes but yeah i was shocked as hell i'm like carson Especially, like, yeah, it, and yeah, it hurt. Like, I, I expected those two to vote for me. Yeah. Um, listen, you, you've said that you're someone who sometimes needs a moment to collect yourself and let your emotions settle down a bit. So I can only imagine having to transition from that emotional tribal council and not getting any votes to then shifting to that after show celebration. Uh, what was that like for you? Horrible. Like, Jeff, stop doing that. But like, no, that's when it's real. And I get why he does it. Like, yeah, it's real. It's, you know, how hard, like, how does it, and I haven't, well, I ran out. Like I didn't, I've not watched the, I haven't watched that part of it yet. It was horrible. Like I literally wanted, and you can see like my, I mean, my posture was kind of like that all season, but like, I just wanted like, how does it feel to not get any votes? Like it sucks. Well, it feels it, it. And so to have to just like go from that and people, People don't realize like try that, that it's an interrogation. It is literally an interrogation. There's like, and you have all these people, they're all like ready and smelling great. And we're like stinky old dogs up and like it is hard. And it's like, so Carol, it's it's really, really hard. The pressure is real. So then going from that, and this is hours and hours long. So it's like, can we get a break? There is no break. Like, give me the pizza. It's horrible like it felt like crap like i i didn't even want oh i hated it i freaking mentally i was just like get me out of here yeah I, it's oh, horrible I, yeah um tell me uh, carol about something that we didn't get to see on tv tell me about something that like happened out there that was impactful for you for whatever reason but we didn't get to see uh, in any of the episodes interactions with danny and just like all the times like he would chime in and like and i'd be like just stop it or like this is how you do the fire or this is how carolyn and i just felt like you know when you there's reasons why they do they cast people like you know the contrasting personalities and stuff yeah. like the interactions with him sometimes, but like he is, he's a great person. He's hilarious. But like, it was just like, he knew how to get under my skin. So just those moments with him, like where I would be like, no, this is how you do the fire. And he, no, you do it this way. Just all those like funny arguments. And it, it drove me freaking crazy, but it also is like, okay, this is like, it, it just showed me like, this is why this game is so hard. You're, you, you can't go anywhere. You're stuck with these people. And I like, again, I liked a lot. Like I liked them, but the personalities and just all the arguments with them, like that weren't shown. It was just, mm, sorry. There wasn't, I can't think of like a lot of things other than that, that weren't shown. I was on the screen too much, man. <laughs> do this, or, you know do what this I'm saying? Like what? I know what you're saying. Listen, are you, are you going to do it again when they ask you to do it again? Because they're definitely going to ask you to do it again. Why do you say that? Like, because, why do you mean, why do I say that? You just told me how you were on the screen the entire time. They love you. Of course, they're going to ask know, you. But like, okay, sorry. Um, 
I can't think about that. No, like, of course. Like, is that even a question? Like, yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, Dalton. <laughs> Did the experience change you? <sighs> yeah, this is okay. Oh. Yeah, like, I, 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 of course it did. It's like a, like up and down, like self, like I get sober. I figure out who I am. I get more comfortable with myself. I go out there like so, so confident. And I end it like even coming home, like there's been so many emotions just watching this. And it's like, I went in with no expectations of like what it was going to see or what I would see on the screen. And, but it's even been like where I look at myself and I'm like, all those things that I taught myself in recovery, like, like positive self-talk. And, um, it's like, I've had to like relearn them because I've been so hard on myself with this. It's, it's changed me. And like, it's changed me in the fact where it's like, I've realized like, I'm, I'm never like, just because I got sober, I'm not cured just because, um, <laughs> I, I'm constantly growing. Does that make sense? I'm constantly yeah. growing. And like, just because I was out here and I went through this like hard experience, like, I'm not, I'm not fixed yet, you know? And like, it, 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 oh, I'm not answering this right. Sorry, Dalton. I'm like, no, oh, you place. are. We're all, we're all works in progress. I just went out like so confident and then I would like feel confident and then I would go down and up and down and up. And like, I'm proud of myself and I'm realizing like, it's okay to be like proud of myself. And even though I made my, yeah. Can you edit this to like condense this? Okay. So, I'm no. not editing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even though like I made mistakes, it's like, that's real. And it's okay that I did. And I can still be proud of myself, even though I, I probably like made mistakes along the way. Cause I wanted to go through the whole game without ever saying anything bad to myself. And it's like, yeah, I did that sometimes, but that's okay too. I don't need to like beat myself up about this. And I truly am proud, but it, it, I'm just so freaking grateful. I'm not answering what was the question? Listen, I don't know. It, it, uh, listen, it was, I know you got to run. It was an absolute joy to watch you all season long. And I just, it, you, a lot of people loved your story and can't wait to see more of it. And I can't wait to see more of it. Like, you know, like, like, you know how many times I've like watched these and like, I'm on this right now. Like, do you realize that? Like, like as a fan, it's like just crazy being here and doing this. Like, you know how many times like I like watch these and just like imagine that this would be me and you're like right across. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm just grateful. Thank you. 